hi and welcome to my channel so i'm going to be talking about a particular topic that all of us should be reflecting on this time and age if you look at postgraduate study or just higher education in the uk you're going to realize that over 90 percent of students studying those postgraduate courses are either africans or asians which means that when you start looking at the job market, you start looking at the highest paid people, you start looking at the most successful people within the companies, these particular two um, sectors are really, really lacking behind. And so it is but fair to ask yourself, if many of us are doing all these degrees, are they worth it? Why is it that those degrees are not translating to better opportunities? Why is it that we are not getting those top jobs despite the high level of education. And most importantly, the other people that are not doing these degrees, what are they doing that is getting them those top jobs? Look, this is a top secret that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. And if you're somebody who, for example, is planning to move to the UK or moving to the UK, this information is going to be very important, not only for yourself, but for your kids as well. Because I think that there are many lessons to be learned not only for ourselves, because if you've already got all those degrees, you've got them, you know. But there is something you can do about it for your own progression going forward. But most importantly, for your own kids. And the reason I'm sharing this is, let me give you an example. I've got a colleague at work that um, has a son, you know, who is 16 years old. So this 16 year old is doing an apprenticeship to become an electrician. He is being paid £2,500 per month to train to become an electrician through a college. Meanwhile, you've got people who are doing that degree, for example, in university, who are probably already older, and they're going to come out and compete for the same jobs. So if you're new to my channel, obviously you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate your time. And I do hope that you're implementing all of these things and indeed finding them helpful. I do have a free newsletter where I share information about visa sponsorship opportunities in the UK, scholarship opportunities in the UK, you know, work from home jobs that you can do from the comfort of your own home without even worrying about visas, transportation and all of that, as well as side business ideas that you can do in order to earn more money and leave the rat race and all this work, work, work thing that we're talking about. Career progression, therefore, is my goal, is my objective, is what I'm truly passionate about because moving to the UK for me was all about career progression. That was the only motivation I had coming here. The fact that I could do more, I could achieve more, I could earn more, I could do more than I could have done where I was. So I have a free newsletter, which if you check the comment section below, I've dropped a link on there. Once you join that newsletter, I'll send that info directly to your inbox. So it won't take you 20 seconds to join. You drop your name and email and you're part of the newsletter. It's completely free. I send it to you so that you're not reliant on the YouTube algorithm, you know, checking out for information that you need that is so vital to your personal and professional development. So do join the newsletter, especially if you click on this video, because other information that I share is going to be really, really helpful and really relevant for you. So like we were saying, you've got a 16 year old, therefore, who is in college because that is college, you know earning over £2,000 per month to train, you know, to become an electrician, for example. And the interesting thing is that when you go to a college, it's completely free. You don't have to pay to go to college. And also, because that 16-year-old is doing an apprenticeship, you know, that they are not paying because apprenticeships are fully funded for you, which means that you don't pay anything. But when you go to university... Not only are you going to pay huge amounts of money, but, you know, you will have to pay for everything yourself, really. But most importantly, those two scenarios, the person that goes to college is like skill based. So the focus is how do you actually work as an electrician? What do you do on a daily basis? You're going out and actually working as an, as an electrician. The person who goes to uni is learning about academic writing, level six writing, level seven writing, reading books and all of that about essays and master's level writing. So upon successful completion of those two courses, remember that the college person is going to go for three years. The other person is going to go to uni for three years as well. Who do you think is better 
once they have successfully completed the course, please do leave a comment in the comment section. Do you think it's a 16 year old who has gone to a college, done an apprenticeship, fully funded, earning 2,500 while they're studying, you know, doing the job, actually working as an electrician while learning and earning money, or is it the 20 year old, 30 year old, 40 year old, or 50 year old who is going to university paying maybe £20,000 per year in tuition fees to study, you know, reading about academic writing, even though you're trying to become an electrician later in your life, who is in the better position? Who would you employ if you needed somebody, you know, to do electricity, for example, in your house or in your company or in your business or in your building or wherever? Who would you choose? Is it the person that has gone to college or is it the person that's gone to university? The reason I'm taking time to talk about this example is for reflection. This is more of a reflective um, kind of thing because what do you think about universities? And this is the main reason why in the UK, you see that African people, for example, are very learned. You know, they go to a course, they're the best students. Everybody comes out with the first class. Everybody has a distinction. But the truth is, it never translates when it comes to the job market. Most people will be doing care, for example, studying. And once you complete your course, you go back to being a carer full time until such point where you think, well, what else can I do? Maybe people then get to do nursing or other things. But the truth is, is because we are focusing on knowledge-based learning rather than skill-based learning. And talking about this, if you're new to my channel, look, my name's Melvis. I currently work as an advanced nurse practitioner here in the UK. Started my journey really as a carer working in a, in a nursing home. Um, I've worked close domiciliary care. I've done all sorts of jobs. I studied as an international student here in the UK. Um, and, you know, I've try to understand the system and what i've realized really is apprenticeships are the way forward are the way forward and i do have a private coaching program where i support nurses carers students student nurses anybody that is looking for visa sponsorship opportunities in the uk you want to get into the healthcare sector and you're thinking how do i do it maybe you're already in healthcare and you want to progress in your career you're thinking what else can i do how do i become i don't know nurse endoscopies advanced nurse practitioner a manager you know how do i become a nursing associate i can support with all of that through my private coaching program which if you check the about section of this youtube channel or the description box below you're going to see a link there to join and if you're watching this video you've watched it now then yes that program 100% is for you not only are you going to get that personalized that individualized and that tailored guidance but you're going to get what else should you do what's the next best step for you you know if you are wanting to venture into any of these opportunities what are the requirements how do you position yourself how do you make sure you're the best candidate how do you apply what about the interviews all of that so there's quite a lot to the program but do make sure that you check it out you know the description box below like i've said or the about section of this channel and i'm looking forward to seeing you in that program and getting to work with you but if you haven't joined my free newsletter check the comment section below i've dropped the link it's completely free i send all the info directly to your inbox the truth is apprenticeships are the way to go if you're in the uk and you're wanting to study and you're going to the university, for example, to pay for it yourself. If it's possible to do an apprenticeship, you need to go for an apprenticeship. Not because you can't afford it. Because I have people say to me, oh, Melvis, I've got money, you know, so I don't need to bother. I can pay for it myself. That's not the point. The point is that we've talked about a 16-year-old who is doing on-the-job training, who is going to complete, you know, their three-year course with three years of experience, with three years earning money. You know, while the person that goes to university doesn't have that. And this is not to say that nobody should go to university. This is to say that there are some courses that if you can do an apprenticeship, that is a, the best option. If there is no apprenticeship and the only way is going to university, check the employability rate. What is the employability rate for that particular course? Why are you doing it? What's your objective? Very, very important because that's the main reason why many people study at university and at the end of the day, they don't really get the jobs that they want or the jobs don't reflect that level of education because of knowledge-based learning rather than skill-based learning. And the UK is a country that appreciates skill, not just knowledge, because you can have knowledge with no skill, 
but it is difficult to have skill with no knowledge. And that's why you see that people that have experience are always going to be preferred. So at the end of the day, they're going to progress, they're going to excel, they're going to thrive. But if you've only got knowledge from university without the ability to apply that knowledge, it is very difficult for you in the UK to excel. So even when you're advising people to your kids or whoever, you need to make sure that you're thinking about all these different things. You're thinking about the environment because I know that there are certain countries where the person with the highest level of education is going to be the boss. It doesn't work that way in the UK. It is about skill, problem solving, experience. What do you know? What can you actually do regarding this particular job or pathway or whatever it is? So I hope that you found this helpful. I do lots of videos on this channel about different ways to move to the UK. If this is something that you're keen on different scholarship opportunities to study in the UK for free. I also do apprenticeships, you know, so that you can study for free, you know, be wise and smart. And the best thing also is that with apprenticeships, they are only offering apprenticeships for things that the country or the company needs, which means that it's more of a guaranteed job while you're being paid to study that thing. So it's about thinking out of the box. It's about knowing that things are changing and adapting to that change rather than doing the same thing year in, year out, that does not work. It does not work. You don't want to take loans, debts, get into trouble, get into university without any outcome and come back to exactly the same job that you had. It's just too painful to be doing all of that. So do share this video with anybody you know that's going to benefit from it. Keep watching the videos and look, I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, do hit that subscribe button and turn on the not notification button so that you're the first to be notified every single time when I drop a new video. And if you haven't joined my newsletter, do check the comment section below and join. Or leave any comments there if you want any answers. And I'll see you obviously in the next video. Bye for now.